can count on us. This is 7 News. Thanks for joining us for 7 News at 6. I'm Will Hutchison. Severe weather passed through much of the area on Friday, so let's start by heading right over to First Alert meteorologist Hannah Gard. Hey Hannah, how are things looking out there today? Well, I was out there yesterday chasing those storms, and it's certainly looking much different today. We have plenty of sunshine, and we're warming up. We're in the high 60s right now. Those winds slight from the east, so certainly much different than yesterday, and a great start to our weekend. And these calm conditions are because we're kind of sandwiched between these two cold fronts right now. You can see what was in our area yesterday is now causing tornado warnings and severe thunderstorm warnings down in the south. So glad that that's moved away from us and we have this beautiful evening in store. You can see we'll have slight winds from the northeast and we'll cool off fairly quickly once we see the sun set into the 50s. But nothing to complain about. It's going to be a pretty nice evening out there. And tomorrow, absolutely beautiful. Plenty of sunshine and we'll see our temperatures into the 80s by tomorrow evening. And it's just going to be warm and beautiful, but we do have this fire danger to consider because of these warm temperatures. We'll have near critical for Sunday as well as Monday. Tuesday we'll have elevated, but you can see where those rain chances start to come into play because our fire danger significantly lowered there into the midweek. But coming up later on in the newscast, I'll have more on those rain chances that we're seeing and we could see some more severe weather by the middle of next week. 